Today we're opening a $75 legendary collection versus a $50 mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic versus video where we have a mystery box versus a legendary collection. We're crossing them over this time, but first we do have a giveaway. This is a pretty epic one. I'll be giving away these three Korean cards, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and Exodia the Forbidden One. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Do you think legendary collection or the mystery box will be better in this video? Let's start off with the legendary collection for Joey's World first edition. These are often pretty good because they have secrets, ultras, and supers inside. So let's hope that we can get some amazing pulls out of both the mystery box and the legendary collection if you guys haven't checked out the community tab go check that out for the giveaway so you can see if you guys have won the giveaways a ton of people have already claimed them which is awesome but go check out the community tab make sure that you have not won a giveaway because i've announced all of them through like a few days ago at this point we're actually caught up for once i've shipped most of the stuff feeling pretty good about it we're going to try and keep it weekly so that i don't get way behind again okay blue flame swordsman we have five booster packs in here this should be a pretty epic opening. Of course, the game board in there, as usual. All right, let's get into this. And also, if you have not checked out the shorts in the TikTok channel, go check those out because we started them up. And uh, it's been pretty fun making the shorter form. So, like, there's shorts and a video every day. So, you get, like, double content if you want it. So, we will start off with Legendary Collection, Joey's World. Everything is recording. We are good to go. Pretty excited for this. I think we are getting close to 115K, which is pretty awesome. Exciting. You know, who, who would have thought we'd be here like a couple years ago? So it's pretty awesome. Let's start. Oh, this is a cool one. We have the Tomazaurus, which is a very cool, small but vicious. This monster even attacks its own kind. It only has 500 attack. This card should have more attack. That's all I'm saying. I guess it's this one because he's attacking its own kind. I kind of like the green one, though. It looks cool. Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. This is actually a nice card. It might have some value at common. I'm not totally sure. We got Songa of the Thunder. Very cool. Black Stego. More dinosaurs. Tail Swipe, that's, wait, what is this? That's a dinosaur card as well, cool. Fiend Skull Dragon, that's a very good goat card, or at least a pretty good goat card. Heavy Storm, speaking of good goat cards, an amazing, amazing ultra rare. Let's see, is it gonna be super or secret next? Secret, okay, we got a snow. We got this last time, actually. Snow Unlight of Dark World, very cool. And then the Silent Doom, that's a cool super rare. If this ever comes back, probably shouldn't because this card is insane. You can, like, Monster Reborn multiple cards. It's pretty, no, wait, no, this is Silent Doom. This is it. That's a different card. Okay, this card is not as good. This is a Gladiator's a Secret. Gladiator's Assault Secret Rare. So we actually pulled that out of Gladiator's Assault once. All right, next Legendary Collection Joey's Pack. Before we get into the mystery box, who knows what will be inside of that mystery box? That's the fun part. Let's see what we can pull. Joey's World. I love these Legendary Collections. If you want to see more Legendary Collection openings like Versus, I'm getting a Kaiba. I think maybe I'll try and get Kaiba versus like Yugi or Kaiba versus Joey or something like that. Let me know if you guys want to see that. We got a Thousand Dragon. We got Fairy's Hand Mirror. Vampire's Curse. Trap of the Imperial Tomb. By the way, if you have any Mystery Boxes or if you have any Legendary Collections, hit me up. If you want to sell them to me, that would be great because then we could do them for videos. Uh, a deal with Dark Ruler, because they can be a little bit weird to find sometimes. This should be an Ultra, I think? Monster Reborn. Okay. That's a nice card. Yeah, I think this is worth a few dollars, even uh, even just as the Ultra Rare, even though the original Prince Ultra. Then we have another... There's a lot of good spells in here. Let's see. Ooh, Foolish Burial, and that is a very good one. Ooh, that's pretty in the Secret Rare, too. I think with the highest rate of this is the Super out of, like, Turbo Pack or something. Harpy Lady, that's another cool card. And Spell of Pain. So far, pretty good packs. These just always have really nice pull. I mean, not always. Sometimes you get some duds at Secret Rare and stuff, but it just feels like really nice opening these up. And I guess that's why they cost so much. You know, it's a $75 for five packs at this point. They're just really nice cards. A lot of value in them. We've got the Kazi Jin. So we've got, what, we got Sangha and Kazi Jin now. We always pull the Sui Jin out of Metal Raider. So now it's, it's making sense. Blind Destruction, we've got the Rocket Warrior. Tiger Axe. You'll love to see this guy from TP1. One of the old, oldest sets ever. Beast of Tawar. Very cool. All right. Is this going to be the Ultra? It's an effect monster. Harpy Queen. Okay. This was probably really valuable before the loss start. I bet that hurt the value, though. Let's see what the secret rare. Okay. Could be a Solemn Judgment. Torrential. Oh, we called it. A Solemn Judgment. Man, that's a nice looking card, guys. That shines so beautifully. And then we got a Harpy's Hunting Ground. And a slot machine. Where's his little brother at? If you guys know the little brother's name, let me know in the comments. All right, on to the next one. We have two more packs. Then we'll get into the mystery box. Whew, solemn Judgment, man. And Foolish Burial. Talk about some good uh, secret rares. There's the Armored Zombie. The man with so much armor on that he has zero defense. Card of Sanctity. 
Gravity bomb. Oh, this is not a hollow. It's a hollow in Yugi's world. It's a common in here. That's interesting. There is the armored zombie. Where's that armor at? That's always fun. Injection fairy lily common is probably pretty nice. Vampire Genesis, the cover card of that structure deck. I really want to own that structure deck at some point. It's very nice looking. Lesser Fiend. Here comes the Ultra. Oh, ooh, it's a vanilla. I like that. Oh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. That's cool. You love to see that. A ferocious dragon with a deadly attack. Let me know. Do you guys like the red and black art? You guys like this one? I like it. I think it looks cool. Okay, Secret Rare. It's an effect. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Talk about a theme. And I think this guy's like $25. Like, he's pretty expensive because we pulled one of these recently. And then a Dark World Dealings, which is also a nice, valuable card. So we are pulling some fire right now. This mystery box definitely has its work cut out for it. I don't know if it's going to be able to beat how good we've pulled so far. Okay. We have the, the Dungeon Worm, man. You love to see these cards. That's what I love about this. There's so many good cards, but in the common slots, they put some fun cards like Dungeon Worm in there. We got the Kunai with Chain. What is this? I still don't have all my voice back, so but what is this? A little weak. We got a little Wingard. The Dungeon Worm. What's his flavor text? Hidden under the floors of a labyrinth. It swallows any who pass above. Wow, that is horrifying. Okay, Launcher Spider. Cool. Beast of Tower, another rare that we've already gotten. Let's see what the Ultra will be. It's a spell. That's cool. We already got Monster Reborn here. The Gates of Dark World. Okay, we've gotten some good uh, Dark World stuff. That's cool. And the Secret Rare. It's another trap. Can we get Torrential? Mirror Force. Oh, maybe even better. I think Torrential is still a better card technically, but that's still cool. And the Baby Dragon and Revival Jam. That Baby Dragon is pretty valuable too. It's nice to have the Hollow version. Man, talk about some nice pulls. And then, of course, we have the promo pack, which we have opened this many times, so we're going to keep it sealed. The best card in it is, of course, the Blue Flame Swordsman. An absolutely massive amount of work has been cut out for this mystery box. I don't think, honestly, that there is a chance, but there is a structure deck in here. Let's see what we're going to get. We're going to get the five booster packs, one deck, and one mystery pack. This is the newest one that has come out. Uh, and, you know, there's some... Pretty good stuff. Uh, Fist of the Gadgets, of course. No, I'm just kidding. We will get Fist of the Gadgets, though. Almost definitely. I've never opened one of these and not gotten at least two Fists of the Gadgets. Hopefully, this will be the first time that we don't. Maybe we will get something else, like Code of the Duelist, or both. We're probably going to get both, to be honest. All right, come on. No Fist of the Gadgets, no Code of the Duelist. That's all I want, guys. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. Come on, give us some help in the comments. Support us. Should we start with the deck? No, I mean, we'll end with that one. Let's start with the skinny packs, which is probably going to be Fist. There it is, Fist of the Gat. All right, I hope you guys voted for Joey, because we have almost conceded already just by pulling Fist of the Gadgets out. I think there was a couple cards that I actually wanted in here. I can't remember what they were. Maybe we'll pull them, then I'll remember. Uh, one more fate. We got, yeah, Scrap Recycler. I need two more of these at Super Rare for my Machina deck, which is pretty, uh, you know, not the best deck ever, but it's fun. We got a Latency. Silver Gadget, that's cool. And the Archfiend's Ascent Secret Rare. Very cool. So I think Scrap Recycler is not really worth much, but it's I had the common from the Structure Deck, so it's much better than that. Okay, I just accidentally revealed. Oh, it turns out it's our Legacy Pack. Stardust Overdrive. Okay, maybe we should save that one. No, we're going to go into it right now. We're going to go into it. We're gonna, if we pull a Ghost Rare and actually win this battle, that would be crazy. I think Ghost Rare automatically wins out of a Mystery Box for sure. Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, I don't know what the pack trick is. We're going to go like this. We're going to go Gemini counter. We're going to counter the Joey's world. We've got a spider egg. Gemini spark. Gemini booster. We have Herculean power. Synchro barrier. All right. Okay. Where is it? Spider, spider. And Dijin, Presider of Rituals. And the Swap Frog. Swap Frog is a good card. I don't think it's really worth too much anymore because of all the reprints. Okay. That was cool. Now let's see what else. Oh, Invasion of Chaos. Okay, it's trying to trying to make a run here. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let me know in the comments. Would a Chaos Emperor Dragon win the battle? Like, even if we don't pull it, I want to know. Like, would that have won the battle? So I think it was, what we do, four? And then we flip these like that? Is that what we do? Okay, DNA Transplant. Very cool. Griffin's Feather Duster. Manju, that's like a $3 card. We're adding to the value. Very nice. Big Koala. Disc Kangaroo. Aren't these the two that combine for Master of Oz? We pull them back to back. Aren't I think it's those two. That's pretty cool. Alright, Desk Wall. The Pin Chopper. Blazing Mbachi. Enraged Battle Ox. And here we go. Boganian. I feel like this guy's always in the hollow slot. Boganian just chilling there. Alright, it's looking bleak for sure. It's looking real bleak. Uh let's go with Fist of the Gadgets. Let's go. Can we get another Scrap Recycler? That's our only hope here. 
to give us any, uh, you know, stuff we actually want. We got the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit. We got a Yoko. Latency. Chronograph Sorcerer. And the Fire Formation Tinky. Okay. That's a pretty good card. I mean, it's probably one of the better cards in this set. Secret Rare. Tinky. We will take that. All right. We got a few decent pulls. Okay. We've still got a few things. This is another fist. It is. <laughs> <laughs> These mystery boxes are the this the least mystery of all time. It's like there is no mystery at all. We know exactly what we're getting. We got a Tensu, that's cool. Gold gadget. So we've got silver and gold gadget. We got a cardinal. The Defcon bird. And the ultimate fire formation Sinto. How many do we have left? One pack and one deck. So the deck is already opened. And we have Code of the Duelist. Shocking. I can't believe we got Code of the Duelist and Fist of the Gadget. Can you believe that? I, I would never would have guessed. That's insane. This set is so bad. Now, we're trying to jinx it into Firewall like we've done before. Let's go with Wicked Acolyte Chalam Sabak. I, I just butchered that. Perry Knights. Infernity Patriarch. Chosen by the World Chalice. Cool. Speedroid. Backup Secretary. World Legacy Discovery. And DDD Wave High King Caesar. So we got some DDDs. That's... Cool, I guess. And finally, the deck. Unless we got like a vintage deck, this is going to be tough. It's already opened, it feels like. Is this deck already opened? It's already opened. <laughs> oh, no. And it's Yugi's Legendary Decks. It's already open, too. Not even a sealed deck. Oh, no. Okay, what will we get in here? Dark Magician Chaos. That's cool. Dark Magician. Grandora. Silent Magician's in here. Uh, Dark Magician Girl. There you go. Uh, Buster Blader, the Tricky, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Green, Red, Yellow, Skill Dark, Skill White, Block, Marshmallow, Karibo, Monster Reborn, Swords Revealing White, Polly, Magicians Unite, Emblem, Mirror Force. Okay. It's a cool deck. I mean, um, it's already open. That would have been nice if it was not opened. Uh, but, yeah, that's just how it goes. Let me know in the comments who won. It's it's pretty tough decision. I know. I have no idea who could have won. Shout out to ZC2, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike, Nance, Mimic, Gecko, Spanky, McFarlane, G-Raider, Daxter, and Ian Musso. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.